lineups for week four, and we're here to help you. I'm Amber Wilson with CBS Sportsline, and welcome to your Fantasy Baseball Weekly Planner for week number four. We here at Sportsline have been very critical of the Chicago White Sox pitching staff. After cruising to the World Series in 2005, Chicago's rotation really seemed to let them down in 2006 as they finished third in the AL Central, especially Mark Burley. He finished under 500 for the first time in his career, and after spring training and the way things started in 2007, it looked like more of the same. But then Burley goes out and spins a no-hitter in Week 3, and by the looks of things from each of their top four guys in the rotation, they seem to be reverting back to form. The no-hitter by Burley, of course, helps his numbers, but he retired the last 10 batters in his start versus Oakland before shutting down Texas's potent lineup on Wednesday. He's scheduled to start twice in Week number 4, so if you've got him, start him. Jose Contreras got lit up in his first start for the Indians, but since then has put together two very quality starts, winning one and getting a tough luck loss at Cleveland. John Garland pitched seven scoreless in a no decision in Oakland, and Javier Vasquez has looked like the NL Javier Vasquez in his two starts this season. He as well is set for a pair of starts at Kansas City and home to the Angels. We'd recommend you finding some room for Javier Vasquez as well. Over the first three weeks of the season, there was arguably no better outfielder in fantasy baseball than Vladimir Guerrero, and there was probably no better pitcher than King Felix Hernandez of the Seattle Mariners. Going into Monday's game at Boston, Vlad was batting 364 with three homers and 12 RBI when he was hit in the wrist by a Josh Beckett fastball. Wednesday, Guerrero flew back to L.A. to get his wrist looked at by a hand specialist. He's out for the upcoming Seattle series, and you may have to keep him out of your lineups in week number four. Hernandez has left his start Wednesday with an undisclosed injury after having significant problems with his control. Week four is supposed to be a two-start week for King Felix, but at this point, it looks highly unlikely. You can keep up to speed on the status of these players, of course, right here on CBS Sportsline. As soon as we get the news, you will be the first to know. In a shocking move, the Phillies moved opening day starter Brett Myers to the bullpen. Myers had struggled in his last two starts, and the entire Phillies team has really struggled as of late. John Lieber takes Myers' spot in the rotation. Rich Harden had an MRI on Monday that revealed no structural damage, which is good for the A's and Harden owners. But the team is being cautious and skipping Harden's spot in the rotation. He could be back April 24th for the Orioles, which would make him a two-start pitcher in Week 4. And Jason Schmidt on his way to the disabled list after his first three starts as a Los Angeles Dodger with inflammation in his right shoulder. There's no timetable for his return right now. And we welcome in senior fantasy writer David Gonis to the program. And David, what is going on here early in the season? It seems like every day somebody's missing a start or getting put on the disabled list. Is it the weather? Well, that's a good question. You know, you look at some of the bigger named pitchers on, that are on the DL or they're headed towards the DL. Mike Mussina, BJ Ryan, Jason Schmidt, Felix Hernandez, Chris Carpenter. You know, only Mussina, who's out with a hamstring pull, he's the only pitcher that pitches in a northern city that's not in a dome. Schmidt, he's 34 years old, and Rich Harden, who's already on the DL a lot anyways. I'm going to say it's not the weather that's the reason, but instead, this is just another argument as to how unreliable pitching can be, which backs up our advice to wait on pitching in your drafts and go heavy on hitting early. All right, well, Brett Myers is healthy. What are we supposed to do with him? I mean, here's a guy fantasy owners drafted pretty early on, and now he's relegated to setting up for Tom Gordon. Yeah, don't cut him. If you have reserve space, get him on your roster. And, and as a backup spot right now. He came on the 8th Wednesday against Washington, his first relief appearance since 2002. It's only the second relief appearance of his career. He's had a rough start to the season, and the bullpen could be a spot where he works out the kinks. I expect to see him back in the rotation by next month at the latest. John Lieber, he's given up 61 homers since 2005. He's not the answer in the rotation for Philly and home run friendly Citizens Bank Park. All right, give us a quick fix here. Who are our two start sleepers for week four? Well, we talked about him last week. We're going to talk about him again. Chris Sampson for the Astros. He lines up at Philly and then against Milwaukee and Houston. He's only allowed eight hits in his past 12 innings, which are his past two starts. And then over in Pittsburgh, Paul Mahomes, he gets two starts at home this week. He's coming off a bad performance in Milwaukee, but his home and away splits are interesting. Last year, he went 5-2 with a 3-5-9 ERA at home, but on the road, he went 3-8 with a 6-1-4 ERA. Two starts at home, start him this week. All right, excellent and advice as always, David. Thanks a lot. That'll do it for us for now. For everything else you need to know in the world of sports, keep your mouths clicking right here on CBSSportsLine.com. And if you miss anything here today, as always, just stop, refresh, and rewatch. For David Gonis, I'm Amber Wilson. Good luck.